Hey, Sean, as you pointed out beforehand, of Jesse Marsh, you've played under him, his game plan working to absolute perfection there today. Um, yeah, like, like I said at the beginning of the game, there, there is times where it can be beat, and if it does get beat, it can sometimes look embarrassing. The other team can go down the other end and score goals. But on this hand, it, it worked perfectly, just as you said. I think it, he lets you blow yourself out, blow a gasket in a way, to, that you're working that hard. And as you saw, his first sub was at 60 minutes, and then he made another three attacking subs to go on and keep that tempo basically high. And I thought Leeds were outstanding today, and they, they show... Chelsea in a way what it is to play with a bit of heart and fight really and they didn't have any time on the ball all day and that's how the first goal came about Les. Yeah I think they shocked uh, Chelsea with the way that they pressed um, they would have seen bits and pieces about Leeds but um, they were right in their faces and, uh, and I think the important thing and we mentioned it before was when they pressed like this um, you know Harrison had pressed already and uh, Aronson and then um, he, he, I suppose I'm, I'm looking at Mendy here and you, you'll say it's a mistake from the goalkeeper but if he doesn't get pressed he don't make the mistake so he gets pressed and um, Aronson does really well to, 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 to win nick the ball off him and, and get Leeds going in the direction they wanted to Yeah I, I thought the performance all around like like Les said that the pressing from Aronson the, the front three were phenomenal not giving them any time setting little traps waiting for them to receive the ball and then just basically hunt them down. And they, they did it from a minute goal. And it, you thought in the second half when a few changes happened, it would change, but it didn't. And things like this happen, and it's a great header from Rodrigo, the way the cross comes in. And as Les says in the first half, he got across his front man. And if you do that against Zonal, it's pretty much impossible to stop if the ball's that good. Yeah, totally, totally agree. You just get the run on James here. And once you get that run and you're, you've got the momentum of the run and the leap, it's very, very difficult for someone who's on or marking you to get the leap that they need to or to get in front of you. And, and they took the goal brilliantly well. And this one was just unbelievable break. If you just watch Rodri and Jackson, Harrison's run from there, they've run unopposed from way back in the half. And none of Chelsea players track them. You can just see the hunger and desire there for them to get on the end of that and make something happen because really if Rodrigo if Jackson ain't there Rodrigo's ball just goes off the side of the pitch but he carried his run on as you're taught as a kid when you don't play the ball and stand still they didn't they played the ball and they followed it and at that time it's so late on in the game Leeds winning 2-0 they still had four players in that box and it was Rodriguez that played the ball, that played the ball outside, but he gets in the box. And I think that's the consequence of when you've scored a couple of goals, you want to get in there and you want to score some more. I think had he not scored any goals, probably wouldn't have ended up in the box. But the fact that he's got that hunger and desire to score goals again, he, he gets himself in the box. And unfortunately, he didn't score, but he, he set his mate up, Harrison. <laughs> you know Jesse Marsh well. Have you ever seen him celebrate like he did today? Yeah, I, I actually have. He, that's something he does. He, like, like I said, he, he, he almost plays the game with you. Uh, to be honest, I thought his trousers were going to rip there. But... <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, when you see them celebrate sometimes like that, it's not just the fact that they scored a goal, it's, it's when the plan's executed. Yeah. You know, you look at the plan, you, you have a plan before the game, it gets executed, and that's what delights a manager more than anything else, is the fact that the plan's being executed. And just look at that comparison under Bielsa. 15 under Marsh, 26 <laughs> under Bielsa. There's only a point difference. Yeah, I do. It's, it's only a point difference. I just think it's just a different way. I think um, when Bielsa came, it, it worked the first time around and then he had some major injuries and the players that it worked with there didn't work well with the players that came in and they kind of got opened up. And I just feel like since Jesse's come in, they still have the same press in a way and aggression, but that man-to-man -man marking, which leaves big holes everywhere, has been taken out of the game. So now if they do miss... If he does go late and he misses out, they've still got a compact team behind him. There isn't, like, massive gaping holes for teams to basically destroy them in. A day to forget for Chelsea got even worse. They finished with ten men. Um, the new man, Koulibaly, two yellows. Yeah, I mean, last, last week he was outstanding. This week, he, he, you know, it was Aronson again here who, mm. who turns him inside here and, and gets away, pulls the shirt, grips him round the neck, and he gets the first yellow card, which is, was understandable. He had to get a yellow card for this. And this, this one here, Les, I, I don't know what he's thinking. I think there's, they're a long way from the goal. It is a great one, too. But you've got to trust Thiago's there. He's going to come across. He should, he's got to just let him go. I think this is Thiago's going to win the ball. It's just stupidity here yeah. more than anything else. I don't think he's even... I don't even think he realises what he's doing. He's, he he, he doesn't realise he's already on a yellow card. And, and it's... 
I don't even think it's to stop him from getting the ball. It just runs across the path, and as defenders do, they stick their arm out. And when you do it at the time, he's thinking to himself, he was in the changing room thinking, what have I just done there? Mm. You know what I mean? It's just the heat at the moment. In the last six seasons, he is the most red-carded. <laughs>